might know that we've been going to DragonCon pretty much every year for how long? Five, six, seven years yeah, at this point? Yeah, a long time. So we've been uh, spreading out to other tracks. I and mean, You know that we're on the Skeptic track, but we also uh, were on the Star Trek track last year. Steve, you talk at the post-apocalyptic track. We've been track. on the post-apocalyptic track. We've been on the science track. Science track, yeah. yeah and so the podcasting track. And the podcasting track, right. yeah. So we're definitely going back this year. So in 2020, tickets are, of course, available. Not, most people... Uh, that go already know it's hard to get a hotel. You know, it, it is. It's just the nature of the whole thing. So sign up early. But it's not yeah. impossible to get it. And you can get hotels that are like perimeter hotels, the secondary hotels. We actually stay in one of the secondary hotels, and I like it. I like it better because you get away from. It's at the perfect distance. Yeah, yeah. yeah so uh, a lot of people come to Dragon Con for the costumes and the science fiction and fantasy. But there is science and critical thinking at Dragon Con, and we'll be there. Uh, and also, you know, we, we last year we debuted on the Star Trek track. You may see a couple of those videos showing up on Alpha Quadrant 6. Uh, and we're, we're going to be back in 2020. And it's, it's always the funnest thing that we do every year. Well, this is the conference that we go to where we get to really, really enjoy ourselves. Yeah. We build in time um, at this conference so we can have fun. You mm -hmm. know, just going to all the vendors is... You know, that's like what, like five or six hours of fun just yeah. walking through all the vendors? And just it's looking a, at all the costumes. Yeah, yeah the, the vendors are a geek's Christmas. It's like three floors of like amazing <laughs> fantasy and sci-fi and everything you could think of, things that you could buy. Uh, you can't buy enough. And then the costumes. You've got, a co you've got a costume spectrum that goes from a girl or a guy with a stuffed doll on their head, and that's their costume, all the way to a guy who's wearing an Iron Man costume that he built that could be it's in the movie. movie that works. Movie quality that that's works. electric, yeah. Yeah, and right? it even shoots lasers and kills people. Well, not, not that much. But, so the spectrum is huge. You can just go and gawk. It's, it's, it's well, every fun. year, so much fun. Every year I see a costume where I get, like, like, so appreciative of the person that did it. Like mm -hmm. this, in 2019, when we went in 2019, the guy dressed as the mayor from uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, mm -hmm. I was like, Incredible. oh my God, because you know, you see these one-off characters that you don't think anyone would, would dare commit time right. to put it in the costume. And that's, to me, I love that. The big surprise costumes are the ones. And sometimes it's the littlest idea, like there was a, a, a person that, was doing the blind version of Arya Stark yeah. from Game of Thrones. Begging for... Begging for coins. Just sitting there. And I remember yeah. when I first saw her, I'm like, oh my God, she looked exactly like... It's her. a moment from a movie yeah. or a series or yeah. whatever. Right. That, yeah. and, and we often will go, we'll go in costume for a few hours here and there, but you don't even need to go in any costume at all. Street clothes and just walk around gawking at all the, the artistry that, that's around you. It's so mm -hmm. inspirational. So a couple of things that are specific for the SGU. So we will be doing a private show. I'll put the time and place up very soon. We're going to do an event right for that. And the other thing that we're doing is the Borg costume. Don't oh, forget. Right. And we want you to join us for this. So this is, what, this is the plan. And anybody can join us. The plan is, is that Steve and a couple of other people are going to come out like, you know, probably Friday, early afternoon. Yeah. You know, pretty early in the, in the conference. And... He's going to be a Borg proselytizing to get more people to join the collective, right? So we're going to be making fun of, you know. So we'll see how many people at the con we can get to become part right. of our Borg collective by the end of the weekend. But, but people that are going to the weekend already knowing that they're going to join us yeah. are have their Borg costumes ready to go. Now, you don't have to have a full Borg costume. You could just put a little makeup on or put, you know, pull something on your Jay, arm. Yeah, you never go full Borg. Yeah, you never go full Borg. Well, I would love to. I would love to, go, to do it. But... So then by, so what we want to do is every like 12 hours, we're going to come out again and we're going to have more and more and more people. And we're hoping by Sunday night, we'd like about a hundred people oh, we'll to be we'll borgified in one way or the other. So join us. Yeah. So if you're interested in joining us and want to hear join the background us. details, you can email us at info at the skeptics org or info at alpha quadrant six and put in the subject line Borg, of so something to do with the Borg, I'll search yeah. for it, but just put the word Borg in there, we'll find you, and we'll give you all the details. So that's gonna be a lot of fun, and we are definitely gonna be there, so hey man, we hope that you can make it this year, and if not, how about the year after that? Mm -hmm.